Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa sallallahu ala nabi. Question it says, Assalamu alaikum, Mufti. May Allah bless you and your family and keep you firm upon the haq. I need help with regard to my parents and siblings not praying. Also, I find it difficult to speak up to advise my family on matters or encourage them to pray. If you could advise me, keeping in mind that I'm a young man, 21 years old, returning to the deen with very little to no knowledge, Jazakallah khairan. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. I mean to your du'as, thank you very much for your kind words. May Allah Azza wa bless you in both worlds, I mean. To keep things simple and brief, I would advise you to uh, live in the light of the statement of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, وَإِنَّكَ لَعَلَىٰ خُلُقِنَا عَظِيمٌ Indeed, you, O Muhammad, are upon an exalted standard of character. There is a hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ is quoted to have said, إِنَّمَا بُعِثْتُ لِيُتَمِّمَ مَكَارِمَ الْأَخْلَاقِ I have only been sent to perfect character. There is another hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ is quoted to have said, إِنَّ أَكْمَلَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ إِيمَانًا أَحَسُنُهُمْ أَوْ أَكْمَلُهُمْ أَخْلَاقًا The believers who are most complete in faith are those who have the best character. And there are hadith after hadith, hadith after hadith, oh, so many hadiths with regards to the virtue of good character. The point that we're trying to make is, due to the fact that you yourself, as you've mentioned, are returning to the deen, you have little to no knowledge at all, I personally feel the best way of calling them, advising them, and helping them out is leading by example. And showing your family members, through your physical character, the power of Islam, the beauty of Islam, the perfection of the deen, how it makes you a good son, a good brother, a good uncle, a good husband, a good employer, a good employee. It makes you a positive member in a community. It makes you a fine neighbor. All right. It makes you a good coach. It makes you a good athlete, a good team player. So lead by example. Show the people the beauty of what has been placed in your heart by Allah's permission through your character. Obviously, if you uh, verbally call out to them, there's going to be several problems. You don't have the proper knowledge to explain. You may not have the proper eloquence. They may attack you. They may say that you think you're better than us now. And just yesterday you were smoking with us, drinking with us, watching movies with us, chasing girls with us, going to the club, so on and so forth. We were picking you off, you know, the dance, uh, the, the, the barroom floor, drunk, carrying you to the car. Now you're telling us that we're all going to hell and we're all sinners. This is a reality, okay? So oftentimes the action is far louder than the actual word. So lead by example. Make sure that you make your prayers on time. Make sure that you're kind, you're humble, you're brave, you're, you have all of the good character of Islam and manifest the aqidah of Islam, the ibadah of Islam, everything from Islam in your character. And then as time goes on, bin the ta'ala, continue to learn yourself, continue to study, continue to take knowledge from the proper sources, and gradually, bin the ta'ala, piece by piece, build your pyramid of knowledge, inshallah ta'ala. And if you have the opportunity to talk to your little brother, or if you have the opportunity to sit and have a, a, a cup of cappuccino with your mother, just express yourself to them and tell them what you've learned and share things with them. Don't holler at them, all right? Don't berate them, don't badger them, don't harass them and hunt them down. As many people say, the religious police. Just be a good son, good brother, okay? Be a good cousin, inshallah ta'ala. If you have the ability to advise verbally, advise verbally. If you can't, then at least advise with your character, lead a good example. And oftentimes we make a mistake by uh, preaching to people without practicing properly, all right? Or we forget that just yesterday we were misguided. Just yesterday we were upon falsehood and now we reach some type of guidance by Allah's help and His permission and then everyone else is going to hell. That's a mistake and people are going to look for that and they're going to use that to throw in your path to make you slip and trip up in the night side. So avoid that. Have good character. Learn the deen step by step, piece by piece. Advise humbly, respectfully, be firm as time goes on with gradual progression. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our success. You cannot guide those people that Allah has not intended to guide. Just be a good example for them. Wallahu alam, that's my advice and I'll pray for you. Be the nice subhanahu wa ta'ala.